Mwezi Kadango Mikeka. I'm working with the Ministry of Health in Malawi under Digital Health Division. What DHS tool means to me is uh, data-driven informed decisions and uh, it means data-driven interventions from community level to facility level as well as national level interventions. I've seen a lot of impacts from the data use, uh, from the information being collected and uh, when it comes to management of uh, MNH data which is reproductive health, we have the malaria program. Uh, we have so many impacts that have been seen within DHIS2 use case. I would say with the recent COVID-19, um, with the recent pandemic, uh, DHIS2 helped the country to utilize uh, the track application, leveraging it to come up with electronic vaccination certification using the DHS2 tracker. So we we're able to monitor the routine uh, vaccination that we were implementing in the uh, facilities as well as communities. So my work mostly focuses on training the end users at facility level. So it means making sure that they have enough knowledge and how they can use DHIS2 to make informed decisions as they're providing healthcare services. It's easy, uh, it's user friendly at the end of the day. Uh, at least uh, when it comes to the existing workflows, it doesn't really change much what is there on the ground. Yeah, it fits in the business processes that are there at the facility.